My dad just, he just, <laughs> he just landed from Mexico. He was there for four months. We, we got to work. It's the way it is. Going to just, we're just going to check out this house. Five minutes, just five minutes. Whew. The weather's a little nicer this week. It's week eight of our 52 week uh, house flipping vlog journey. This week we're going to put some drain tile in. Oh, and uh, my dad's back, but that's not what I'm all excited about. We go into another stinky house, another one. I take my dad with me and I try to get this lady on my podcast. She has to come on, but you have to see this second stinky house. Have you been in the stinky house? Hello? Hello? Stick around. Week eight. I was looking for a contractor in Halifax that builds houses, real estate, because a lot of real estate agents will sell new construction, which is good. I wanted to have somebody on for a podcast that does that. So I wanted to find a house builder plus a realtor in Halifax and I found this girl really nice Instagram page and the house designs were beautiful and she's a real estate agent we're gonna call her hi you've reached the voicemail of Rebecca Marchand with Sutton Group Professional Realty and Marchand Homes Limited you know what I realized is I'm gonna it's dawning on me the days get closer and closer that you're not gonna be working here yeah, I know. I know, it's stressing me out. <laughs> then we have to deal with Adam or any help, help. What are you doing after though? You're not really gonna retire, right? Yes, I am. I am. We'll, we'll talk. Look who just showed up. There's some new lighting here. Have oh. you been in the lighting department? Yes, it's it's incredible. Yeah. They put everything together, like the goals with the gold, the shiny ones are with the shiny ones. <laughs> <laughs> you guys redid your whole lighting department. Did you do it yourself? Yeah, all by myself. Yeah. No, Jill did it. We're here looking at the new lighting department. No, so exciting. I can't tell which one you guys are pointing at. <laughs> this one here. So remember we had that water issue on the Champlain Street house? Well, we're doing the interior drain tile right now. I, there's something about concrete. I just love concrete. We ended up putting that beam, like faking it here. So when we put the drywall on, it looks normal. Looks good, I want to see the basement. Yeah, I got there late for the drain tile. Wanted to show it going in because oh here Mario, he Mario's been in TV for like a hundred but a long time, but he hates being on camera. I love it. So if you have a leaky basement, it doesn't always mean you have a crack or something. Sometimes it's your drain tile. So this is a quick explanation of what drain tile is. So this is your grass, right? The grass, the lawn, and here's your concrete foundation, the wall. That's the wall. So this is all the ground you live up here. It's raining. The water comes down here, comes down the wall. So there's some old houses don't even have any drain tile at all. But the reason they're called drain tile is because in the olden days, they were actually made of clay and they were clay tiles they would piece together. But whatever they're made of, hopefully you have a drain tile. If you're an old house, you might not. But what they're made of isn't really important. But the water comes down here, hits this pipe. That's all, here's the top view of a house. Those pipes go all the way around your house and they bring the water to a pit and then goes out to the city. So you don't even see it. All that rainwater comes down through that piping out to the city. But then you get a leaky basement. What happens sometimes is dirt follows with the water and it fills up. So it plugs the water. So now the water level rises, right? So where does it go? It starts to come in a crack. It can kind of come in under the footing. There's a whole, water is incredible, as we know. So, what we did on that house, because it was easier, someday we'll show the whole process, inside and out. So what we do here is, here's your cement floor on that house on Champlain, right? We jackhammer this out, put in a whole bunch of gravel, put in new piping, put some more gravel, then they put, as you've seen, that plastic membrane up the wall that if you ever do get a little trickle or something, it's going to come in and down into that drain tile, the new one. We re-pour the floor so you don't even see it. The water comes in, any rainwater, and it's out to the city. So that's what we did there. I just got there late. All construction is so... It's things people have learned for hundreds and hundreds of years and have pulled together. It's just fascinating. Hey. Hey, what's up? Do you uh do you know a Rebecca Marchand in Halifax? Nope, but we talked about that already. Brad Marchand's sister. That's Brad Marchand's sister. I, I don't know. It must be related to her. 
It has to be his sister. Probably, yeah. Okay, I'm just trying to get her. Uh, I'm trying to get her on uh, the podcast. Does she work for the Marshall Home Building Company? I, th- I think it is the Marshall Home Building. Well, yes. If that's it. Then it's his dad. His dad and his brother's company. Okay, so but that's Brad Marshall's sister from the Boston Bruins. I would assume yes. Okay, well I got to get her on the podcast. We have to have her on. <laughs> if you don't know me, I'm a huge Bruins fan, and I actually think Brad Marchand. People can freak out all they want. He is definitely one of the top five players in the NHL. Yeah, maybe he's made a few little mistakes. Maybe, maybe, but he can cut, carve, curl, pass. It's incredible. I watch every game. If Rebecca is his sister, she, oh, she's got, she and she does new construction. And she's a real estate agent. She, she she has to come on the podcast. She has to come on the podcast. I don't even know what to think right now. Did you watch last week's ball with the stinky house? Well, this show that. Wow, this is another one. There's boots, shoes. Oh, oh, bring that home. Hey, Mario, Mario, hello, hello. Trivial, trivial pursuit. Are you old enough to remember these days when you walked around with your ghetto blaster? And you had, you didn't, who needed headphones? You just pumped the music right into your ears, straight in. And you want a beer? <laughs> oh. Shut it, shut it, shut it, shut it, shut it. Military is quite recent. Well, recent. Well, shouldn't he have that? Like, shouldn't we bring it to him? Well, bring that. To, we're gonna give that back to him. We're gonna find his family. This is the end of week eight, so we're following another house, and my dad's back. So it'll get a little bit funnier now. Yeah. Next week, we're gonna try to show electrical plumbing going into Champlain. Uh, we're gonna put the finishing touches. Hopefully, order the kitchen for Macbeth. Hey, say this is the end of week eight. This is the end of week eight.